with a folding corn head, one thing to really pay attention to uh, when you unfold the wings, the snouts that are on, tipped on an angle will lay flat when the lock pins are engaged because there's linkage that connects the frame to the lock pin cylinder in the back. If your wings don't lay flat, then that lock pin is not engaged. There could be a few reasons. One, the pin is bent. Two, there's dirt or chaff packed in that lock pin, or your linkage is bent. When checking over your folding corn head and you're noticing your wings are not staying level as they're going up and down or folding evenly, you can pull in the unfolded position the top pin out, support the wing cylinders with a block of wood or a strap, and run the cylinders in and out full to full stroke three times, up to three times, and that should bleed out any air that's in the system to rephase them. Also, the snap rings, I've seen snap rings pop off with material that is run through the corn head. So when you're greasing, make sure all the snap rings are in place. With your folding corn head, one thing to really pay attention to um, is this lock pin right here. This right here keeps the wings from folding. This is your lock cylinder. There's a valve right back here with a little piston in it. When the wing unfolds, that piston is compressed, allowing oil to fill this cylinder, which will push this linkage, pull the linkage down, push this lock pin into position, and also bring your wing or your snout down. I have seen these tabs get bent. Um, if you're running into issues with your lock pin and your wings not folding down flat, verify that that pin is getting pushed in by that tab. With that pin pushed in, that will allow the oil to go to the folding, the folded snouts to allow them to lay flat and your pin lock to go in. If your snout does not go down, there's a good chance that this lock pin is holding the whole assembly up and is not going all the way into your wing. There's a couple of things. You could have debris, dirt, uh, bent pin, um, dirt stuck in the back of the header, sh not shimmed right. These are some shims right here that can be adjusted. Uh, or this linkage could be bent and the pin is actually engaged, but due to the bent linkage, your snout is not laying completely flat. So if your snout's not laying flat, you need to do some investigating. One thing to check with, especially on the folding corn head, is your augers. Um, with a non-folding corn head, if you have uh, the header sitting in the sun, the augers can warp just a little bit with the sun, so you may have some clearances that will rub and scrape on the stripper plates. Your auger flighting to the stripper plate should be about a quarter of an inch. Like I said, with a non-folding corn head, your auger is going to be longer, uh, and it may warp a little bit and scrape those. Not, not too big of a deal. Um, with the folding corn head, you have your drives for the augers. There's, on the wings, there's spring-loaded drives that will meet the fixed drive down here. Um, they're very temperamental as far as lining up. If you do any auger adjustment, you really want to watch your alignment as it goes in there. Um, along with all your drive components, they all have spring-loaded uh, drive connections for your PTO and your drives for your row units.